I am Anil Kumar. Welcome to my series on calculus. We are discussing curve sketching. In this video, we will look into intervals of concavity. The question here is, for what values of x is f of x concave up? For what values of x is f of x concave down? For what values of x is f of x have a point of inflection? There are three questions and normally you will be given functions in the form of function itself as it is given in question number one which is concavity for the curve f of x equals to x cubed minus 3x squared plus 4x minus 2. You can be given a function in the form of first derivative as it is given in question two or in the form of second derivative. So most of the time it will be either of these cases. So in this video, we will learn all the three cases and understand the concept. Now, let's talk about concavity a bit and then we'll move forward. So let us say there is a graph given to us, uh, which looks like something like this. So we have a portion which is concave. This portion is called concave down. And then when you go kind of like this, this portion is called concave up. So we say this is concave down. And that is concave up. And the point where the concavity changes is called point of inflection. Let us say this point in this particular case will be referred to as point of inflection where concavity changes. Now, whenever you have a function which is concave up, let's say, which is kind of like this, in this particular case, you will notice that the second derivative f dash x will always be positive. If you have a portion of the graph which is concave down, in that case, the second derivative will be negative. So that is how you test whether the part of the curve is concave up or down, right? So this is, we're saying it is positive or negative. So for any given function, we have to find the second derivative to decide about the concavity, perfect? Keeping that in mind, let us take these examples one by one. Question number one. So we have to talk about concave up, concave down, and point of inflection. And the function given to us is f of x equals to x cubed minus 3x squared plus 4x minus 2. So since we are interested in concavity, we'll actually find the second derivative. So let's find the first derivative first, which is 3x squared minus 6x plus 4. And then we get the second derivative, which is equal to 6x minus 6. So power rule has been applied. Now, how do you check for concavity? For concavity, we need to find when is the second derivative equal to zero. That should give you concavity, right? Okay, so, so we'll figure out when it is zero. Then on either side, we are going to find out what is the real status, where it is negative and where it is positive. So let's take it on this side of the page and we'll equate the second derivative to zero. So we're saying 6x minus 6 equals to 0. Solving, we get 6x equals to 6, or that gives us x equals to 1. So we know at x equals to 1, the second derivative of the function is equal to 0. At 
x equals to 1. Now we need to check either side. So now test. So we have one critical point here, which is at x equals to 1. We'll take a test point on either side. Let us say that the test point for us on the left side is 0 and on the right side is 2. And what we are checking is the second derivative, whether it is positive or negative. The expression for second derivative is, you can also write this as with 6 common, x minus 1. Now that will directly give you the answer. If I substitute 0 here, we get minus 6. We get negative, right? If I substitute a number which is more than 1, let's say 2, that will give us positive. So clearly from here, we get the concavity. Negative means that the graph will be concave down in this interval and concave up in the interval from 1 to infinity. Is that clear to you? So now we have our answer. So we can now write down our answer, which is concave up in the interval, which is from 1 to infinity, 1 to infinity. And we have concave down from minus infinity to 1. And at 1, we have a point of inflection since the concavity is changing. Perfect. So that becomes our answer. So here is what we can write. Concave up from the interval 1 to infinity. Concave down from minus infinity to 1. And point of inflection at x equals to 1. Is that correct? This is change in concavity. So I hope that makes sense. So we just wrote our answers on the top. Let's take the next example now. So here the function is given to us is, let me rewrite the function. We are actually given the first derivative, which is x to the power of 4 plus 4x cubed plus 2x squared plus 12x plus 1. Let's find the second derivative. So for concavity, straight away find the second derivative. We get 4x cubed plus 12x squared plus 4x plus 12. Now let's factor this. Uh, we could take uh, 4 common here. 4x squared we can take common. Let's take 4x squared common. In the first two terms, in that case we get x plus 3. And in the next two terms, we are taking 4 common. We again get x plus 3. So we group factored them. Correct? So we made two groups. Factored, getting our result. We could actually now simplify and write the second derivative as equal to x plus 3 is a common factor. And the other factor is 4x squared plus 1. Now let us try to find the critical point for the second derivative. It is 0 when x is equal to minus 3. So that is the critical point. We'll check either side. When is f double dash x or the second derivative negative or when is it positive? Let's try to analyze the situation on the right side. So, so we'll take, uh, we'll kind of make a table using test points. So what we have here is uh, x equals to minus 3 as a critical number for checking. On the left side, we could have a number like minus 4. On the right side, we could have 0. We need to test the second derivative. The two factors are x plus 3 and 4x squared plus 1. For these values, when it is minus 4, x plus 3 will be negative, that will be 0. The second term, both will be positive. 
And the combination of these two, when you multiply, you get negative on the left side and positive on the right side. So that means that the concavity will be concave down here and concave up on the other side. So that gives you the answer. So we can clearly now say from here that the graph of the function is concave up when the interval is between minus 3 to infinity. And it is concave down when the interval is from minus infinity to minus 3. In between, we have a point of inflection. And this point is at x equals to minus 3. Is that clear to you? So this working shows clearly that is your point of inflection. And we know that the second derivative is, we can use these two spaces, second derivative is less than 0 in the interval minus infinity to minus 3. And it is greater than 0 in the interval from minus 3 to infinity. And that is a point of inflection. So that is how you get your answer. So I hope that makes sense. So that becomes our solution to the given question. Now let's take the last example, which is intervals of concavity we need to find for what values of x is function concave up, concave down, and for what value does it have a point of inflection. So question number three, we are this time given the second derivative. Concavity for f of x where second derivative is, so we'll write down the second derivative, which is x plus 1 times x minus 5 times x plus 2 whole square. So we are already given the second derivative. Let us analyze it, right? So we have three factors to analyze. The critical numbers when f second derivative is equal to 0 are at x equals to minus 1, x equals to 5, and at x equals to minus 2. So we are going to analyze these three points. So on a number line, we can take these points. So let us say, uh, so minus 1, minus 2, and 5. So let's say this is 5 for us, minus 1, and minus 2. So we have uh, 5, minus 1, and minus 2. These are the values of x. Now let's take test points on either side. So test points could be minus 3, minus 1.5, 0, and 6. And we are trying to analyze our factors. So we'll put the factors here. The factors are x plus 1, x minus 5, and x plus 2 whole square. Clearly, x plus 2 whole square will always be positive. So without thinking much, let's put it positive. Now let's begin with the very first one. If I substitute minus 3 here, I get negative minus 1.5 negative, these two will be positive. For x minus 5, these values will definitely give me negative, 6 will give me positive. And now we can actually see the result of multiplying all the three. When you multiply all the three, two negatives will give you a positive, two negatives will give you a positive, one negative will be negative, and that will be positive. So in this particular case, what you notice is that only during the interval, which is from minus 1 to 5, the function is negative, second derivative, right? So we are trying to analyze the second derivative. So in this region, it is concave down. In all other regions, it is concave up. Is that clear to you? Now, point of inflection will be only at the points where the concavity changes. So we have two points of inflections here. One is right there where the concavity is changing and this is the other point. So these are the two points of inflection. Is that clear to you? So the point of inflections are at x equals to minus 1 and x equals to 5. Since the concavity is changing, concave up 
is from minus infinity to minus 2 and then from minus 2 to minus 1 and then from 5 to infinity. As far as concave down is concerned, it is between minus 1 and 5. Is that clear to you? So we know when is the second derivative greater than 0? That really means it is concave up. And we get all those intervals, which is minus infinity to minus 2, minus 2 to minus 1, and 5 to infinity. And the second case was, when is this second derivative less than 0? And that is concave down. Is that clear? So that was the interval between minus 1 and 5. Point of inflection is change in concavity. Which happens at x equals to minus 1 and x equals to this point which is 5. Is that clear to you? So that is the summary. So I hope with this the concept is absolutely clear. And if you like and subscribe to my videos, that would be great. Feel free to write your comment, share your views. Thanks for watching. All the best.